I can only imagine what it will be like when I walk. When thinking about reaching out, I thought about the so many people who have reached out to help our parish, our school, and our community in so many ways. And I want to thank them. I know our parish does so much for so many through our many, many ministries. And I've got a feeling when we move into the new church, we're going to realize that we've just been getting started. And God will smile on you. To be able to have the church right here and to celebrate Mass every single morning right here um, on our campus and then still go out and minister to the, our community is going to be really cool this year. And I'm excited. The youth have expressed so much interest of what, of what they want to do when the new church is here. And sometimes we have to calm each other down. And, and uh, just with, within that ministry, it, it, it's going to be really, truly awesome. The, the youth have been waiting for so long to be able to have a home uh, within the parish and the parish has been so supportive of our youth and to be able to uh, share this with the parish and the elderly of the parish have supported our youth so much this year so finally it's able to be able to express our forgiveness and to give back to them as much as that we can do. What is our Father asking us to do? I think He's asking us to reach out to the people in our community other than the people that are members of our church. And hopefully when our new church is completed and dedicated and we're in the church, people will be excited about seeing the new building, seeing what it contains. Maybe we can make them more aware of the different things, ministries that we have for the people in the community. I think a lot of people really do not realize the number of ways that we reach the people in the community and touch the people in the community. And many of these people have no connection with the Catholic Church. But we do it because it's God's work. that perhaps when people see the new church and frequent the new church for mass or special events or for whatever purpose, perhaps they'll become more aware of the school. And our school is a terrifically important, terribly important part of the whole parish. If we can't educate our children in a Catholic school and give them a real love for Christ and a real understanding of our religion, we're going to miss the boat for the next generation of young people, and we really do not want that to happen. As I look in this display case, I see the word celebrating service, and that brings uh, to mind uh, what we're trying to do here at St. Margaret's. We're ready to enter our new church um, that has uh, come together because of the sacrifices of you, our beautiful people here at St. Margaret's. And why are we here as a parish community of St. Margaret? First of all, because we are the people of God and God is working with us and through us to make a difference in our world and certainly our world today needs to be impacted with his message of love not only for him but also for ourselves and here at St. Margaret's we're trying to do that and our new church will help us in many many ways to do that for example uh, 
we're, we will be able to expand our ministries. Secondly, uh, we'll be able to uh, come together more and accommodate more people for our Sunday liturgies. We'll be able to celebrate the sacraments in a more meaningful way than we did before. Leaving that beautiful church that many of you uh, grew up in, that many of you contributed to over the years, difficult and, and uh, extremely hard. But at the same time, when we look forward to our new church, we will begin to see all the possibilities of that church. What excites me is uh, we have a home where we can uh, welcome more people into that home. And uh, we can uh, expand our uh, liturgies and we can do so very, very much. Uh, behind me is the, uh, uh, the school children enjoying a basketball game. And I see the same enthusiasm that I see in the children and you, your, you their parents. You have made sacrifices, many sacrifices, to make this new church a reality. There's no doubt in my mind that we can continue, not only bring this uh, new church to completion and pay for it, but above all, we can really, uh, even more, make a difference in our community and in our world. So my brothers and sisters, my plea to all of you is to keep up the wonderful work that you're doing. Putting God number one in your life Secondly, loving your neighbor as yourself and treating one another as you have been doing so many years as true brothers and sisters.